We have amphibians and reptiles of all kinds, and we have a total cataloged of about 225,000 specimens. It's the largest collection of its kind in, in Texas and one of the largest in the world. A lot of people are always surprised to find out about this, uh, this place. The, the snake that ate the other snake, it's in the, the coral snake cobra family. So it's, it's a venomous snake. The other little snake that was eaten is uh, just one of the common non-venomous snakes. What makes this one special is that it came from a very, very remote area that few people have been into. And as it turns out, it's a little snake that you can't place in any group. Forget the species, we, we it, 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 it was an unknown species, but more than that, it was an unknown genus. It's a very bizarre snake in terms of uh, its anatomy. We actually have been trying for many, many years to go back down and have made about a dozen trips back in, into this area uh, without success. We've never been able to find, we found more of the coral snakes, but we haven't found any more of the, of the little snake uh, that uh, is, so, is so unusual.